Welcome back guys for another Minecraft video and today we're celebrating Minecraft 10 years anniversary, it's a late celebration but I will give you guys a tutorial on how to make a fascist regime in Minecraft, we're sticking for low version for now because no off define release yet. First step to do is find a village, do it in survival for better experience. Aha, there we go. After finding a village, go to step number 2, start the revolution, place your fascist flag like that everywhere in the village everywhere, in survival mode this works as well, and in the new version of Minecraft. Just like that, you have a fascist regime running in your Minecraft village. Now this is Minecraft, but it's better in survival. Now in the step number 3, build your wall from the village, this can keep hostile mobs out and easy to govern your fascist village, it can work in the latest visions and stop the pillagers as well. I put some redstone in my wall for better looking, you can do it too. For the entrance, you should build a gate. And place some gate too, mobs are stupid anyways. In the fourth step is improve the roads, to maintain your fascist village not loss. Now it's better to see, in survival it can work as well. In the fifth step, create a lava chamber to decrease crime rate and kill other parties. It's all simple, place a minecart here and a villager it, it will go to the lava and puff, corruption is gone. And moving on to step number 6 is to create more infantry, like iron golems to protect your fascist and conquer zombie hordes, in survival this is pretty helpful and in the latest version because of pillager raids. Oh oh, zombies. Yeah golem, get that capitalist pick, hunger of fellow fascist brother or sister. In your face zombie, you died. In the seventh step is strict rules, this needs to be follow even the villagers, golems, place and including you as a new dictator. Whoever obey the rules shall go to the lava chamber. Like this villagers with their dirty green cloths, not doing anything, they need to die, for not working. Now you declare yourself a dictator you should go to step number 8, the genocide, killing only, gathering villagers in the public and green villagers that are not productive in the fatherland. Yes, found a lazy villager, now in survival you should kill this and put it in the lava chamber, no more green villagers in this fascist village. Now time to die lava food. Now push the minecart the villager will get in and straight to the lava and by cruel world. and kill villagers with a green villager next to them because they're gathering for an revolution, so you must kill them. Now in step 9 the very simple step is to expand your empire by building more roads and buildings. You can build more farms whenever you want. Make sure to put light sources in your buildings. Now in the 10th step, increase the village population, in the latest Minecraft version this feature is very working and increase your villagers slowly but I don't know how to do it but if I have 1.14 update in Optifine I will show you guys, but for now this step is not approved. Eleventh step is to build monuments to worship your new fascist regime in Minecraft. You can pick whatever design you want, my inspiration is the Brandenburg Gate in Germany, pretty cool, I guess. For the last step make or convert a village house into a laboratory, research stuff here like nukes, new weapons, and more. You can also put stuff to help you research. And put a little testing chamber, if you like. And there you go, you have a fascist regime in Minecraft, thanks for watching. Don't leave yet, I have a bonus for your regime. If you are bored you should go to step 13, the democratic reform. Overthrow your own regime, mobs are stupid anyways. 
create a democratic banner as well and make it look liberator looking for great effects noise and place it everywhere in the village i'm sorry but i don't want to be a, an emperor that's not my business i don't want to rule or conquer anyone i should like to help everyone if possible jew gentile black man white we all want to help one another human beings are like that we want to live by each other's happiness not by each other's misery we don't want to hate and despise one another in this world there's room for everyone and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone the way of life can be free and beautiful but we have lost the way greed has poisoned men's souls has barricaded the world with hate has goose stepped us into misery and bloodshed we have developed speed but we have shut ourselves in machinery that gives abundance has left us in want our knowledge has made us cynical our cleverness hard and unkind we think too much and feel too little more than machinery we need humanity more than cleverness we need kindness and gentleness without these qualities life will be violent and all will be lost the aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together the very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men cries out for universal brotherhood for the unity of us all even now my voice is reaching millions throughout the world millions of despairing men women and little children victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people